Welcome to Mount Corcovado. I hiked all the way up here today. Corcovado uh, means hunchback in Portuguese. And, uh, you can see the beautiful view of the, uh, this is looking, I guess, to the south of part of the city of Rio de Janeiro and the world famous Mana Canal Stadium, soccer stadium. And, um, and I'm here to uh, appreciate one of the new seven wonders of the world. There are seven of them, uh, proclaimed in 2007, I think, and this is one. This is underneath uh, his left arm. Christ the Redeemer, Cristo del Redentor. And uh, this statue um, was built in 1931. It took nine years to complete. A French guy, Landrowski, I think his name was, sculpted it, but then it was uh, the Brazilian Hector <laughs> Silva de Costa who engineered and uh, built the whole thing. So the thing, the statue itself is 100 feet tall and the pedestal is 30 feet and his arms are about 92 feet from tip to tip. Here, take a good look at it. And the whole thing is built out of concrete on the inside with rebar reinforcement and then the casing the outside is all soapstone it's undergone several refurbishings over the years because it's a uh, gets substantial weather uh, the other thing that it gets is substantial lightning strikes and uh, I guess one of the fingers fell off at one point or was cracked you can see uh, at the tips of the fingers there's little lightning rods on the tips of the fingers on both sides and also at the top of his head. And uh, this thing is built in the uh, kind of an art deco look, really, uh, typical of the 1930s. And like I said, it's one of the new seven wonders of the world. I think you've got the um, Chichen Itza, you've got uh, uh, Machu Picchu, Taj Mahal, the Colosseum, the Great Wall of China. Um, what else? Machu Picchu, did I say that? Petra and uh, Cristo Redeemer. Americans? Uh, Foz Iguazu. Oh, you saw Foz Iguazu. I saw you. Uh, <laughs> you like Seattle, the. You, Seattle. Yeah, Seattle. Yeah, good memory. <laughs> yeah, so um, one of the seven wonders, everybody's here to appreciate it. It faces, I just checked with the compass, it faces due east. Um, so looking due east, let's take a look out this way. This is, uh, it faces right at the um, Sugarloaf, Pau de Azúcar, Sugarloaf Mountain. And these mountains are unique to the coast of South America. And uh, it took me some research to figure out the geology behind it. Nobody really knows how they're formed. But at one point, this was all filled in, uh, not with water, but with um, some sort of softer earth material. And over the millennia, it is eroded away and leaving only the hardest things. And the hardest things are these granite and quartz. Uh, they're called sugar loaves. And there's not just this one. This is the most famous one in the world. But they're everywhere. You can see one here. I'm standing on one, this mountain. There's some over here. And not just in Rio. They're up and down the coast of... South America also. So, uh, yeah, Cristo El Redentor, recommended. In fact, if you're going to go to Rio, of course you're going to go and see this. And it's illuminated at night. It looks really cool. It looks very nice during the sunset. And it is pretty spectacular. Look at this. Look at the sun coming behind it right now as it's shrouded in the mist. There is a uh, small chapel uh, behind it at the base. But I didn't want to uh, film it, just out of respect. There were some people in there who were meditating and praying and giving respects. Um, here, let's take another look. The original, uh, one of the original designs was a uh, Christ holding a globe. But uh, this was the design that won out with the, uh, the arms outstretched, uh, indicating a symbol of peace. Anyway, this is my last day in Brazil. I fly out tomorrow. I figured this is a uh, great way to end the uh, trip in Brazil. On the top of Corcovado Mountain, Christ the Redeemer.